Hey, this is Steve Gill with your daily video notes for August 31st, 2011. Recently, members of the Congressional Black Caucus have been traveling the country to jobs fairs and town hall meetings, spewing racial hatred and violence, calling for people to create violence in the neighborhoods of this country, to attack banks, to do the sort of things that we should all be disgusted by. And in fact, we're seeing some of this stuff already playing out on the streets of Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., St. Louis, Chicago. And yet you've got congressional members, black members of Congress, who are out going to community to community, inciting people to violence. What's worse, they're doing it on the taxpayer's dime. They're spending our money to spew their vile hatred. Give a look. I'm standing right now on the chair of the Emanuel Cleaver's leadership. We have seen change in Congress. With the Congress, Woman Wilson's point, the Tea Party is stopping that change. And this is beyond symbolic change. This is, this is the effort that we're seeing of Jim Crow. Some of these folks in Congress right now would love to see us as second-class citizens. Some of them in Congress right now in this Tea Party movement would love to see you and me, I'm sorry, Jim, hanging on a tree. Some of them right now in Congress are comfortable with where we were 50 and 60 years ago, but it's a new day with a black president and a conversion of that talk is really a lot to be I don't have many chances that I get to uh, disagree with uh, a guy whose shoulders I stand on, which is Congressman John Lewis, who said we're fighting three wars. Well, actually, we're fighting four wars. And the fourth war is a war that the Tea Party uh, has started with the United States, more particularly the president. And they are willing to, in this war, have as casualties the 14.1 million Americans that don't have a job. They're willing to wreck this economy simply for political gain. The absolute saddest day that I've had in the whole of Congress was the day that we passed out of the House of Representatives cutting $500 million out of the women and infants and children's program. I have never seen such a, a, an attitude on, uh, that's expressed toward poor people. So and I think, with all of us know, and we dance and tap around it, all of us know racism. at any bank in America at noontime and throw a ring around that bank with human bodies and they for one minute think there's going to be a run on the bank, they'll change their way. care whether you're white or black, Republican or Democrat, this is wrong. It's illegal. It should be stopped. 
The President of the United States should condemn it, all Americans should condemn it, and the mainstream media should at least pay attention to it. It's disgusting, and it should be stopped. I'm Steve Gill. That's your daily video notes for August 31st, 2011.